test against Pakistan. Some interest there, did it hit the gloves? Henry, Henry very interested. Shake of the head from the umpire, a discussion going on. Williamson interested, Watling communicating and they'll go for the review. Williamson was convinced as our alley had Nick one behind early in the day, only to be left red faced when he saw the replay. Right, well that's about the worst review ever. Watling the entire slips court and they weren't interested and he's going to cop a fair bit now. On that review, that was a shocker. That can be close, and yes it is. It's given, and he's asked for it. I think he, I, I'm still not, it's not clear to us whether it's been given as a catch or it's given as an LBW. But Anil Kumble has asked for the review. Just uh, a full toss, there's no doubt uh, about the no ball. It is uh, it's clearly way behind the line. Uh, that's uh, something. Now, it pitches in line. Did he hit it? He didn't hit it. It hit the pad. After the pad, did it take the bat? Anil Kumble feels he hasn't nicked it, that's for sure. Because that's why he is... He's hit the pad. Now he's sure that he has Maybe the bat hit the pad. There you go. It's given him out. Fielded. And a run out. Oh dear, oh dear. It'll be Watson. It will be Watson, I feel. So Shane Watson is run out. Unbelievable scene here at the MCG. The end of a great partnership of Shane Watson has to go. He doesn't want to go. He wants Caddies to go. But it's Watson to go. Well, they're both looking at each other. Photo finish. You can't pick that. Watson, can... Watson was in the air. Yes, he was. Caddick's, Watson is in the air, so Caddick survives. survives. Rocks, paper, scissors, here we go. <laughs> like, Caddick has done nothing wrong here. I thought he might have raced back into his crest. But he just wanders back Ka nicely. Caddick Look, looks around for Watson. Shadow there under Watson's foot, so Watson will be run out for 93. Oh, he needs longer spikes. Get back here. That's a, a classic. Oh, that's got to be close. That's very, very close to off stump. Perhaps it didn't do enough. Well, you can't leave them that close. The question is, uh, the umpire said not out. Ponting uh, is still uh, trying to decide, I think. Is he going to have a go? Yes, he is, and uh, what you must remember now is that uh, more than half of the ball must have been to hit the stumps, otherwise it goes back to the umpire's call. It looked like Brad Haddon wasn't convinced, and Ben Hilfenhaus was the one who said, I am convinced. Well, he's just all right on that front, just. I think this is very, very tight. Doesn't matter where it pitched. Ah, missing the stumps, so Trot gets away with it by a hair's breadth. Yes, well, there we are, good decision. And new centre Santos. There's a second leaderboard. He hasn't hit that, he's missed that by a fair bit. They've heard something. Mohamed Amir certainly has. And he's trying to convince them that oh, I heard something, it might be a fine nick, it's David Warner. Bar. No, he's having a look. I thought he was about to not buy into it. <laughs> look, the first okay, look copy. Was that um, spot of Brian, we've got a review for court behind. If we can have a look at front foot first, please. That's uh, fair delivery. Can we move on to uh, front top spin vision, please? Uh, clear daylight, uh, a couple of inches.
matches between bat and ball. Uh, Ian, I'm coming back on field to you. Uh, stay with your original decision. Not out. Right, well, someone's just lost a lot of face with Mizbah Al Haq. Whoever convinced him is now in the doghouse. <laughs> Look, I thought they might go to the hot spot and have a look. <laughs> that was nowhere near the bat. Even, even without looking at the slow motion, you, you can see there's a huge gap between bat and the ball. And I don't know what Surfaz heard.